If you've ever wondered how to make R&B samples for Drake like this, You've come to the right place. Let's dive in and break down how I made this loop. To make this kind of emotional R&B freestyle Drake kind of melody, the first thing we need to start with is some simple and moody chords. So I grabbed this stage 73 from Arturia and laid down this pattern. A quick way to get that vibe with the chords is by using major 7 and minor 7th chords. But if you don't want to have to learn the music theory, I dropped the go-to R&B chord progressions in my new Midnight Sessions loop kit. After I added the roads, I wanted to add some more textures, so I brought in a vinyl sound and a perk loop from the mini stash. After that, I wanted to add some more variation for a second part of the sample, so I copied those same chords onto this Analog Lab pad. After that, I wanted to fill out the music a little bit more, so I grabbed this 40s Palace bass from the Midnight Session Analog Lab bank, and I just followed the root notes of those chords. Before I get into the next sound that really takes us to the next level, if you like this loop and the sounds that I'm using so far, they all came from my Midnight Sessions Volume 4 loop kit, which comes with 40 loops, an exclusive uncut tutorial, go-to R&B chord progression midis, and an analog lab bank with my go-to presets for R&B. The link is in the description for you to check that out, and you can use code KXVI30 for 30% off. Once I had the foundation for the music down to really capture that R&B Drake sound, I brought in Sarah Kennedy to add some vocals. But to take it one step further and really get that Drake R&B vibe, we gotta add some effects to these vocals. So I went in and added some reverb to give it some space, a delay to help fill out the sample a little more, and I added this plug-in decimal, which is essential if you really want to get that filtered Drake R&B sound. After all those effects, our vocal sounds like this. After that, our sample was pretty much done, but I wanted to add a hook section that had more energy, so I copied those same chords again to an acoustic piano, and this is what that sounds like. And then to add to that higher energy theme, I took the filter off of the vocals, and this is what that section sounds like all together. So as you can tell, it's pretty simple to make these kind of loops, but to level them up, adding different sections with filters, without filters, can really help to make it more usable for another producer to use, as well as add some variation to your sample. So once I had all that, I bounced down into one audio file, and this is our finished sample. If you want to know how to make your own soul samples, click this video right here. 